And welcome back to More Proof. I'm James, and today we're going to show you how to swap out a lock set. So if you're interested in swapping out locks, there's a couple of things that you need to think of when you're going to buy it. If you're just replacing one lock, chances are you can just go to your local home improvement store or go on Amazon, buy a unit that comes with a key, and then just take the screws out and insert the new unit and screw it all back together. It's pretty much that simple. There are a few considerations. If you have like a Schlage, it usually has a bigger bore diameter hole. So I recommend getting something very similar or the same manufacturer when you're gonna swap those out. It's gonna make it easy. Uh, most of your standard door locks are gonna be the same size. Uh, the one that we're replacing right now, I don't know what the brand is, but I know that the quick set will fit in there and it should bolt up and match up with no problems. And I also went ahead and got the quick key ones so that way I didn't have to look through every single bin on the shelf and then find the matching key make, which all your manufacturers are gonna have a key variety somewhere on the box and you have to buy the same one for each unit. Otherwise, you're gonna have different keys for every door that you're rekeying. The tools you're going to need are going to be a drill, either Phillips or flathead or just a screwdriver. You can use either or, but uh, I usually like to prefer the screwdriver because you have a longer shaft so it's easier to get through there. If you don't have a big enough extension on a power drill, you run the risk, one, you're not gonna be able to get it fully tightened down because now your doorknob's gonna get in the way. And also, if you go full hog with a power drill when you're putting this together, you run the risk of potentially stripping out the screw itself or the head, in which case you're gonna have not a good time replacing that. So you'll probably have to call it professional or get very creative and use pliers and just, you know, go crazy. We don't need that. So let's break into the box if you can. You have your interior, you have your exterior, and then you have this, which actually controls your lock function. And how this works is this goes into your door first. So if the door is facing this direction, this pops out at the end. This is what catches on your latch. This goes on either side of it. When you turn this, it flips a little lever and makes this go in and out to lock. So you can twist that, get that to come out. These go right through the screw holes in here. So as you depress this piece, that all lines up. And then all you have to do is put this into position, line that same shape up, do that. And then you just give it a nice little quarter turn and then you're ready to tighten down your screw heads. So a couple of reasons you might wanna change out your locks is one, you just bought a new home. So you're gonna to wanna to verify that the keys that they give you fit in all of the different doors. We have a brand new deadbolt on our front door, but it does not open up these back ones. So this goes with the original owner before the people who had last had it. So who knows how many copies of those keys are floating around. Or if you're moving out of a place, you're changing tenants or changing units, whatever the case may be, you don't feel secure, you can always swap these out pretty quickly. So there's only a couple of screws that you have to take out. You're gonna have two in your top deadbolt, you're gonna have two in a handle, and then you're gonna have two on the front place at face of the door. And as you can see, there's not even any screws in there, so this isn't very secure just to begin with. Insert this through there, line it up. Final step is you put your screws in the deadbolt. Good to go. Now this just twists into place. So after you line this up, twist it up, and then you twist them down. It comes right through the openings, and now you go ahead and tighten them up.
thanks for watching more approved i hope you found this helpful i'll leave everything that i use down below in the description box and if you're looking for something else to watch here on more approved i got plenty more diy videos have a great one until next time see you then